Well, I see you've gotten this far. That means you probably know how to turn me on and put a disc onto me. You might even know how to find a specific program like this one you're watching. Now well, that's great. What's that? You say you didn't turn me on? <laughs> Someone did it for you. Well, then it's time to begin your education. To get me going, you start by pressing the power button on my front. Now, I need about three minutes to warm up, so you might as well leave me on all day. I won't overheat. Now, don't forget to turn on my TV monitor, too. Also, turn to the correct channel. In your area, it'll be one channel that's not used, usually three or four. And my TV VDP selector must be on VDP. To play a disc on me, press the cover open button and lift my cover. Put a disc on my spindle and press the two tabs labeled lock until they click. Close my cover and press play. Here I go. In a short time, you'll see the index appear on my screen. Select the program you want. The name of this program is How to Use Disco Vision. As you can see, it's number 300 on the index. I'm going to stop now. I'll continue when you press the numbers 300 and press my Run Index button on my touchpad. Come on now, like this. 300 Run Index. Now, you do it. Ah, thank you. That's better. Now that you know how to find and start a program, we can continue. You can do more than just run total programs with me. You can run pieces of a program, too. For instance, each of my programs is sub-indexed. That means that if you're showing your customer a LeSabre and they ask about engines, you can go directly to my LeSabre engine section, like this. Here's the main index of this side of the disk. Notice the fourth line. Press 4 for LeSabre Detail Indexes. That's the one we're looking for. See, it says LeSabre Detail Index, and right there, number 4 again, it says Engines. So, push number 4 on the touchpad again, and watch what happens. Pretty neat, huh? Right to the exact part of the LeSabre program you wanted to show your customers. Later on, you can practice this yourself. I can do some other things you probably should know about. For instance, I can go very fast, or I can go very slowly. Let me show you how to make me do these things. If you push my scan button while I'm playing, I'll race through a whole side in about five seconds. Usually, it's better to push my stop button first. Then, push my scan button, and I go through a disk in more like 30 seconds. That's a much more useful speed for scanning. Later on, you can try it. I promise to tell you how to make me go in slow motion. To do that, just hit my slow forward button on my touchpad. By the way, when I'm in slow motion, you won't hear any sound because... I'd be talking like this. You can also make me go slow motion in reverse, too. Down here is a slide control that makes my slow motion go either really slow or almost at regular speed. You'll have fun with this later. After you're finished showing something in slow motion, just push my play button, and I'll resume normal speed with sound. I can also go one frame at a time. Just push the step forward button, and I'll go forward one frame or back one frame each time you push the button. Again, to resume normal play, just push my play button. Now, let's see. Fast, slow, one step at a time, indexes and sub-indexes. You're an expert. Now, what do we do with all this newfound skill? I'm at my best in situations where I can show your customers something they can't see for themselves by looking at your floor models. For instance, I can clarify front-wheel drive or technical matters or fuel efficiency, or anti-corrosion measures. I can also make a car look pretty good. I can explain things. Let me show you. Suppose a customer asks... Excuse me, I didn't understand what you meant about uh, con converter clutch. Could you run that by me again? Sure. 
In fact, I'll even show you. Could you step over here a minute? This is our DiscoVision TV system. We use it to demonstrate things. For instance, the torque converter. Ah, yes. The engine and drivetrain lock up in a one-to-one -one ratio, reducing fuel wasting... Did you understand that, ma'am? Well, <laughs> no, not really. Well, then, let me just back it up and play it again in slow motion. Now, see? Do you see how it locks together? Oh, yes, now I do. The question is, did you get it? The salesman looks smart because he used the disco vision easily and proficiently. And with practice, you will too. You can check your expertise by playing the sales quiz for each car program. Of course, I'll let you know if you get a wrong answer. But keep practicing, because when you're familiar with everything on this disc, then you'll have no trouble using it to make demonstrations to your customers, or your would-be customers. Actually, there's nothing hard about using me. I'm no more complicated than your calculator. Oh, you're still doing arithmetic with a pencil? Well, you can't please everybody. Okay, one last thing. How to turn me off? Hey, not yet. Let me explain myself first. All you do to turn me off is push my reject button. When you do that, my disc rejects itself. Push my cover open button and lift my cover. And wait for my disc to stop spinning. When you hear me click, you can remove the disc. Ready to try it? Okay, start by pushing my reject button. <laughs>